the end of the day's opening over with the sun just about offering its nose through the clouds and he's worked this one away down through third man and it will beat from that Howard stand running towards us again Brooke waits and this time hits that straighter and that is a glorious shot and that brings up the half century for Harry Brooke he waves the bat to the uh, spectators in the ground to the many hundreds still at the AGM as well through the glass there take now then to root beautiful shot superb shot he's just stepped back slightly reading the length of that so quickly and just nothing more than a push through extra cover as Tickner's in again short pulled by Harry Brook with control and he's got so much on that that there's a man posted down there for it but he Alex Thompson I think he can't get across Darling to Harry Brook who drives this one on the up through the covers into the Western Terrace and that takes Yorkshire he comes in past the umpire now Brook drives that one is wide of mid off and he finds the gap expertly there Harry Brook a terrific shot well he had to pierce the infield and then hit it well enough to beat the uh, the fielder at the wide mid off position ball to Joe Root then Joe Root just cuts that down to third man we've seen him play that so often before it's a vacant area they're through for one there's a bit of great fielding on the boundary there plenty of world experience in recent years and are doing a good job here and there he is helping himself to another boundary just just dropping it probably about leg stump Alex Thompson and with that natural turn in towards the right hander Harry way in from the Howard stand end a similar ball this time it's slashed away from Harry Brook and it crashes over the ropes for four more runs to that Yorkshire total Brook into the 90s Yorkshire 354 for three gone on 97 Thompson then bowling here to Joe Root and there it is Joe Root with a reverse paddle sweep has brought up another superb hundred it was almost inevitable really from early on that he was going to get there serene progress throughout has not given a chance bowling to Brook who drives firmly down the ground beautiful shot by Harry Brook as Zach Chappell comes in to bowl to Brook and that's going to be the hundred push into the covers this time Anish Dahl round to try and field but Harry will get back for two to take his score to 101 from 102 deliveries Reese in again to Harry Brook this time who carves this one away outside off stump it's going to go through a, a very wide third man and it's four more runs to the Yorkshire total four more to Harry Brook start of a new over it's Chapel running away from us it's the reverse scoop <laughs> Oh, it's brilliantly carried out from Joe Root. We've seen him do it so often in Test cricket for England and he brings it out of the bag there for Yorkshire. Come back to that as Reese is in once again and Harry Brook has absolutely whacked that over deep backward square leg. It was in the what they describe as the slot and he's whipped that for six more runs in front of the scoreboard at the side of the East Stand. Start of a new over, it's the 88th of the Yorkshire innings and that brings about the end of this wonderful partnership of 201. Well, what a pleasure, what a joy it's been. For Derbyshire, and he's dialed back into the attack. He's full and wide outside, Harry Brooks off stump and he just smears that through extra cover, doesn't run. Dahl in, right arm over the wicket and... Hill's got this one through, slightly opens the face and it'll run to the cover point boundary for four runs, first boundary for George Hill. Strides in again, outside off stump and well you have to say that is absolutely magnificent from George Hill. It was just slightly shorting length, just outside the off stump. Dinkin is in, oh and that's a beauty, that is an absolute beauty and my goodness me he comes back with a bang there Yorkshire first innings Tinkner comes in again oh beautiful shot to get off the mark from Johnny Tattersall my goodness he'll be pleased with that as he just caresses that ball through the onside for a delightful boundary has got came under pressure here but he steers that one nicely off his hip 
And uh, that one goes through for force, having built up that pressure. They're in a bit of strife. This is all, all of course, in the Rachel Hayhoe Flint Trophy as Code's latest ball is just a little too full on leg stump. And Lewis Reese has helped himself to four runs in front of Square on the onside. Nicely played, got right over the top of that. Fisher's in again this time. Then and that has hit the pad and the finger goes up from the far end. Matthew Fisher strikes first for Yorkshire then and it's Harry Kame who is the Derbyshire batsman who is out for eight. Howard Stanlend. In it comes again, it's a chance and it's caught by Finlay Bean. Great catch at third slip from Finlay Bean. And again, Fisher is right on the money with the line and length again. And they were so difficult to play. And that's what we've seen again today as Code comes in. Oh, brilliant slip catch at third slip. It's Finlay Bean again. My word, that was a sharp chance. And Ben Code gets his first wicket. It's Reese, the left-hander, that's gone. That lateral movement through the air. Oh, Ben Code comes in again. There's an edge. I think it bounced in front of the slip cordon there. There's three slips and a gully. But it just bounced in front. It was a genuine edge. Bowling to Guest. Guest with the on-drive. Oh, and that's the shot of the inning so far. That is a straight bat. Played really, really nicely. Back up the ground. Hill in once again. And... Wow, Madsen down the track, treats George Hill with disdain and he whacks it over long on for six. Wow. Straight, so it makes a bit of sense what Madsen's done as Hill's in again and this time Madsen drives it beautifully straight along the ground. He's going to get four more runs. Thompson's in, down the leg side and that's glanced away for four. It absolutely races away towards the Howard stand there. He's no slouch. Thompson in again. Oh, terrific shot through the leg side. Wide of mid on. And that's a, a terrific shot by... Uh, but dry. Action at Eddingley, which is great to see. That's played away through mid wicket. Just strain again. Just a touch too straight, Jordan Thompson. The development of the indoor dome they've, they've built. Hill in once again. And Madsen shuffles down the pitch and he kind of bunts this into the leg side, kind of half a half a drive, half a pull if there's such a thing. And so Hill in once again to Madsen, this time beautiful back foot punch, this time it bisects the fielders and it's going to go through for four more. Derbyshire move on to 70 way towards us from the Howard stand end once again. And he's offered width again. He's started to lose his radar a little bit, George Hill, and Brooke Guest plays a lovely back foot drive through cover. And it bobbles over that boundary rope. And uh, Revis is in. That's top of the bounce and nicely punched off the back foot by Wayne Madsen, who's going to get what he deserves there. That's four runs. Lovely shot. Shorter in length this time. There's a, a pull shot there by Guest. Doesn't quite get there. There's a chase for Jordan Thompson, I think it is out there, who sticks out a, a big right boot, but he can't quite hook the ball back. Derbyshire reply. Here's Revis. That's one slightly shorter. That one's pulled. And that one is four. George Hill didn't pick that up, but it didn't matter because he's about 30 yards or so away from it as it crosses the uh, the boundary in front of the Western Terrace. Fisher in once again, and Guess kind of plays an open face drive backward of point this time, and it's going to run away for four runs. As Jordan Thompson is in, he's a bit wide there and it's squarely driven by Brooke Guest and that runs away to the Western Terrace for four more runs. It takes Guest to 52. Very, very well compiled half century by Brooke Guest. Seem to have dried up the boundaries for him a touch as Code's in again. Spoke too soon and that's a terrific shot over the top of Long On. It's a couple of bouncers and over the rope. And that is four more. Right arm over the wicket. He's short and wide this time. And it's so much time for Madsen to cut that away. Four more runs to the Derbyshire total. But Ben Code continues with a similar field. That's down the leg side though. And that's going to be glanced away for four. So he just strays there down the leg side slightly. Ben Code, we've not seen that from him. Final ball of the day, Matthew Fisher. Passes umpire Martin Saggers, bangs it in short but uh, down the leg side and Wayne Madsen shoulders arm. So that is that for day two.